an amazing concert at Prairie Nights. Uh, I spent two weeks at Standing Rock. It changed my life. I have never felt so much love concentrated in one area ever. The camp was beautiful. Peaceful, people sharing with each other. I was going to a sweat one night with Lori Woodley, who is Shailene's fierce mother, <coughs> and her boyfriend, Doug McLean. We were going to, to the uh, Two-Spirit sweat. Yes. Thank you. And they had made me a dress. Where did they, they make it? They have a tent at Standing Rock full of sewing machines. And women were there constantly making clothes for those who needed it. There were medical tents. There were uh, mental health tents. There were cook tents. People sharing firewood. It was the most amazing thing. But on our way to that sweat, we heard that there was something going on at the bridge. So we went up there. And that was the night you're talking of, November 20th. I've never witnessed anything in person so horrifying, you guys. These people were praying for their ancestors, standing on their own ground. And to see them hit with water cannons and chemical weapons, rubber bullets, uh, concussion grenades. We all know Sophia had her arm blown off, blown out. And Susie can't see out of her right eye. Thank God those were the biggest uh, uh, casualties that we had. But so many people are suffering from PTSD from that. Because not once was there anything violent coming from the water protectors. They stand in love, they stand in prayer, they stand in ceremony. And I just wanted to let you know that Myron Dewey, if any of you know uh, Digital Smoke Signals, he sends a message to remember to heal yourself. We all have healing to do. So let's heal ourselves so that we can reach out and help other people. And I want to make a challenge to you right now. If you haven't defunded or divested yet, please do so and find one more person that you could encourage to divest. How many of us are here? What if we all chose one other person to divest? It's hashtag bank exit, it's hashtag defund Dapple, and you can get more information at defunddapple.com. Thank you and bless us all. Just to elaborate on that one particular night, that was the Sunday night that uh, was a horrible night because we all went to the bridge. I was not expecting to get tear gas, to have to dodge uh, tear gas canisters flying right at us. A water cannon and uh, it was one of the most uh, uh, unbelievable sights I've ever seen in this country. I could not believe it. I've been around since the 60s and I was in the civil rights movement in the 60s and I, it was just that bad. I, uh, if you saw the dogs and all this, this is how it was. It was horrible. I want to thank one more gentleman that I forgot and I shouldn't forget him because that day I thought was going to be my last day. Uh, I ran into a tear gas canister. I was overcome. I fell down. I was actually, truthfully, looking for a place to die. That's how bad it was. You, uh, and if you haven't been tear gassed, you'll never understand. It just chokes you. And a gentleman came up behind me who I'd known on Facebook, never met him. Jason Pinto. Where's Jason at? Jason is from uh, Hamul uh, village in, uh, in San Diego, he's a tribal member, of, and Jason picked me up and actually ran me out of the, uh, the tear gas. Uh, funny, funny story because uh, when I asked Jason, I said, Jason, Jason, you're not wearing the goggles, you're not wearing a mask. I said, how, do you, how did you manage this? And he says, I get gassed all the time. <laughs> Jason, come to the Okay, car. so, uh, 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 yeah, give Jason a hand. Woo! Jason is now my adopted son. He doesn't know that yet. Okay, what we're going to do next is uh, I want to bring up a very important woman, uh, uh, Dolores. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to have Dolores say, Oh, there you are. Viva! Uh, this is your brother! Yeah, absolutely. This is a very important woman. Uh, so here is Dolores Huerta. Thank you. Hi, everybody. 
Uh, I just want to add a little bit more to the picture, and thank you, Francis, for painting that beautiful picture. Uh, you know, when I uh, went to, uh, to Sandy Rock, and I went to the camp there, and when I saw, I thought, my, this is what society should look like. Yeah. Where people, everybody is there in peace, you know, uh, with a mission. Uh, the mission, of course, was to stop the uh, pipeline from going through uh, the, under the Missouri River there, but uh, everybody was sharing. Uh, there were people that came from uh, everywhere, Wisconsin, Washington State, everyone from Canada that came and they were sharing food, helping each other uh, build their shelter. I thought, you know, when we go through the Los Angeles streets and we see so many homeless people, I thought, hey, why can't we do this for the homeless, right? Yes. I mean, really yes. get them shelter, get them food, and, and, and have this whole idea of cooperation, which are the indigenous values. Indigenous values are cooperation. Indigenous values are sharing. Indigenous values are not about domination, right? Or about greed, or about corruption, and so, I think this is what Sandy Rock really it meant to me when I was there. Because I could see a, a society where we could not only share and care for each other, but also work together on the issues that we need to solve in our society. And uh, so today, I mean, what we're asking is very simple. And what's been said, said I'm going to repeat what I said earlier. What? The banks have who? What money do they have? Our money. They have the people's money, right? Yep. What money do the banks have? The people's money. The banks have the people's money. And we want the people's money to be used for good. We do not want it to be used for destruction, especially the destruction of Mother Earth. So again, who's going to be able to stop them from doing the destructive financing that they do? Who's going to stop them? The people! Okay, I want you to say the people. Who's going to stop them? The people! Who's going to stop them? The people! Who is going to stop them? The people! And the people are going to take their money out of these banks that are financing these pipelines all over the country. Because it's not just Daddy Rock as we've heard here today. I want to say one more thing. You know, we have Mike Farrell here with us today. Yeah. Is Mike still here? Yeah. I want you to give a big applause. You know, he did so much to stop the death penalty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to stop the death penalty. He was up there in the forefront. We lost this time around, but we're going to keep on going, Mike. You know, yeah. it, we're going to make sure in our lifetime that maybe not mine, but yours. Please, we have to work to stop the death penalty uh, here in California. And I don't, again, who's going to do it? The people! Who's going to do it? The people! All right, and we the people are going to keep on working very hard. Today is just another day of inspiration. I want to thank our indigenous brothers and sisters for all of their bravery, all of their leadership, and for leading the way to show us how we can make it happen. Si se puede. Muchas gracias. Si se puede. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dolores. Uh, honored to uh, call you my adopted grandmother. <laughs> I stuck in to the family somehow. <laughs> uh, uh, we're gonna ask if, uh, if y'all could just move back a little bit. We got a, a, a guest singer here, uh, Michael Mowgli, right Mowgli? Got that right? All right, good. And he's gonna share with us a tune real quick. And we're gonna have a drum and we're gonna have a fancy uh, Shaw dancer, uh, which means we're gonna have to open it up in the circle here in a little bit. But first we're gonna do this song and we'll be back. Mike, Mike. Hey, uh, day y'all, thank you so much for the work you're doing. My family believes the Savior will return one day. I look out at you people and I know that it, it is here right now alive in every single person here. But I am only the same If you know me today My foundation was changing Before I was made And I say Let's make it rain Woo! And I see what this council is I see a conference of mystics Who pray to hold forces that may us Responsible for all the bullshit That keeps our minds in our Change 
society is. Let's make it rain. And I say, let's dose the government's allies and all their armies. We can come together and overthrow. Let's make it rain. You guys sing that? 